Hey folks, my name is Feldre, and this is Ruins of Ardania. Now this is a mod pack for Minecraft, um, as you could probably guess. Uh, it is a mostly magic mod pack, with a little bit of tech, a little bit, a little bit low tech. Um, it is uh, loosely based off of the game uh, Majesty A Fantasy Kingdom Sim, I believe is the full title. Uh, and it, if you play the game, uh, you might know that there's like different gods and it's, it's a, you know, medieval fantasy setting. Uh, if you haven't played the game, don't worry about it. Not really going to matter. It just kind of provided the base for me putting, for me deciding what would go into the mod pack. Uh, this is made by me, by the way. If, you know, you didn't already see my name right here. Underneath the credits, er, as the credits, I should say. So, yes. Um, the idea here is that uh, this is not out yet. I still have to put together a guidebook to kind of give players an idea of what's going on. Maybe some hints and uh, how they might want to go in the game. Uh, but once that's done, it's going to be public. Um, in the meantime, though, I'm going to use this series to kind of play test it and hopefully it'll be interesting enough to watch. So let's uh, go ahead and get a map started. Okay, we're in the game and uh, looks like the chunks have all generated there. So let's get started with uh, what we have in our inventory. So we have a crystal ball from Minecraft Comes Alive. We have a Akishic Tome, which is going to have a whole bunch of books for us. Uh, the Astro Sorcery uh, book, it's going to have the Cyclic book, Integrate Dynamics, and Silent Gems. Eventually this is where the guide's going to reside as well. Uh, so people know kind of where to look to start. And then we also have an Ability Bottle. And this one, it's going to have a random ability, and in this case it's glowing. So, you see we have 19 levels to start off. That is basically given to us uh, by the game so we can use our first ability. So let's see it shows that I have 500 experience. This is going to require 500 experience. And uh, entities in the area start glowing. This is going to be basically uh, highlighting enemies even through walls which is kind of cool I think. So let's activate that. And there we go. Now we have glowing. So, uh, I'm just going to put that in inventory, put that there too. And then we'll also use this crystal ball. So it kind of summons us to this location. Or it builds it? I'm not exactly sure. Um, oh, hello. That, what? Oh. Bye. Stop. Okay, that's... A little glitchy. Anyways, there we go. <laughs> I don't know what was happening there. Um, right, so uh, it's gonna ask us some questions. Basically, this kind of sets up the Minecraft Comes Alive mod where you can uh, marry villagers, you can even have kids and such. I've, I haven't really played around with it too much. Uh, so, are you male or female? I am female. Which do you prefer? You males. And my name is Phil Dre with a capital F. I just like being proper that way. Uh, these first three options, these will uh, generate something in the world. And I don't really want to do that. I want to start off with nothing. So we're just going to click none. And then we're teleported back. Hopefully not inside a block. Okay. <laughs> there we go. And uh, now we can get started. I see we have some Chocobos here. Oh, see, there's that glowing. See how it has the outline? That's kind of what it looks like. So I don't know what kind of distance. That was smooth. Well, <laughs> I am off to a great start. Can I? No, no, no that's not how I'm going to be able to get out. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yep, I'm doing good. I already fell into a hole. That's, that's great. There we go. Um... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
not. Oh, here we go. We can grab some apples from this apple tree. One there. Can I get that one? Maybe. Maybe. There we go. Alright, so I got some apples that I can eat in case you know I fall down another hole. Hi, chicken. Uh, so let's see. Uh, okay, if we go this way. It looks to be... Yeah, there is a village over there. <gasps> Look! It's a chameleon. Look at it! It's so cute! It's glowing! <laughs> Those things are awesome. And we have... I mean, there's good old squids, but we also have... Let me just go in the water here. There's actual fish in the water that you can see. And it's probably kind of hard to see in with this light, but yeah. There's like salmon and there's, I don't know, cod maybe? So yeah, that's pretty cool. Ah! Okay. It was underwater for too long. Get out of there. Nope. Alright, let's go this way. More Chocobos. Oh, we got some... Oh, here's some rustic berries. The wild berries. I love these because they, they get a pretty, pretty good amount of food. So like an apple gives like half a chunk. I don't know what they're called. Uh, where wild berries gives a full one. And these things grow pretty easily. So yeah, I like getting these. As a, it's a good starter food in my opinion. Oh, oh, did you see that over there? That is an owl up there. Hello. Turn this way. Turn it. I just got absorption from something. What am I getting absorption from? Huh. That's odd. Oh yes, and there's deer from roots. Many, many things in here. There's there's all different kinds of mobs that I uh, ended up adding. Ooh, more berries. Let's grab those. Oh, and there's there's something in the distance over there. I didn't mean to break that grass. Wait, yeah, there it is. Can I see it out of the corner of my eye? Oh, and this is a chaos node from Silence Gems. You see, there's that bar that's above our uh, our food. It's slowly filling it up. It's kind of neat. And it does random stuff like it uh, randomly repair your tools. So they kind of need to have. Let's see. Okay, this stuff is from uh, Choco Craft. And here we have the two ores that are added by Steam World, which is what this was generated by. So we'll take those. See, area achievement. Oh, that is a uh, that is an evil craft structure over there. Let's go check that out. Look at the deer. The deer are cute. I don't know what uh, what kind of distance the uh, the glowing starts working. Open up this. Ooh, <gasps> there's another. See, we already got another totem. Fire resistance. Nice. Okay, so got a whole bunch of armor. Take that. Uh, withered rib. Sure, from Reliquary. Condensed blood. Oh, Prospector detects ores in a straight line. That'll come in handy. And this ancient scroll. What does this say? Uh. Right then, this, I mean, obviously this isn't something that we can build now. But, uh. Something to do in the future, that's for sure. Okay, let's throw all that in there. Uh, let me take this chest, actually. Never have too many chests. Oh, and there's another chest. Yeah, these these temples are always good to check out because they... Uh, they sometimes have chests. <gasps> Air charm? Nice. So this thing basically is like... Is, is kind of... It's kind of flight. Um... Basically, it's on all the time unless you toggle it. It's not, you don't like double jump. Uh, another one of those. More of the blood. Wow, we got, okay, we got totems for water breathing and speed. 
those in there, and another one of those. Does this have the same thing? I think this... Yeah, this has the same thing. Can you, like... You can't, like, use those. Okay, I'm just gonna put that one back, because I don't need... I don't need two. Oh, yeah, see? This is the air charm already at work. Whee! <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm actually going to... I'm going to turn it off right now because I don't need it. And I'm going to stick it on my baubles. Just to open up a little bit of inventory space. Alright. So. This is... Yeah, this is... Uh, it's like pools of mana and uh, you don't want to fall into them because you end up levitating like that guard. And that's not very fun. And you do take damage from it eventually. It's not very much damage, but still. Oh yes, and these are uh, different villagers. This is basically these uh, replace the standard villagers. So if we talk, we talk to you, so you can trade with them still, or uh, you can interact with them. You can have like chats and stuff. There you go. That person liked me chatting with them. What's... what's going on here? Oh! Something! Something just died. What the heck is that? What the? Is that... I think that's a werewolf! Oh! It's just, it's just not a good time right now. Oh, and they can't get to it either. Okay. Um, okay, hold on. It's getting dark. I think. Yeah, excuse me. Yes, the bed's in here. Okay, so let me just sleep on this bed. Oh, you're, you're walking on my face here. Do you mind? There we go. I'm actually going to steal one of those beds. Oh, that's interesting. These are highlighted too. Huh. I wonder, is it usually like that? Oh. Oh, that's right, because you can, yeah. That's, there's a, you can actually configure the armor stand so they're not all in the same thing. Oh, that person's having a bad day, it looks like. <laughs> Probably because of the werewolf. I won't lie. Is, is the werewolf still in there? I think that that villager there must be the werewolf. Well, yeah, everyone everyone in that room except him is dead. <laughs> Whoops. Oh yes, this is uh, this is from Totemic. The little chimes here, as you can see, we have a whole bunch of buffs, and that's caused by this uh, totem pole. So that'll be something we have to get into. Oh yes, and you can hit the drums. Yeah, and I think there's uh, a couple other um, musical instruments. But anyways, uh, oh yes, there's a traveling merchant. These guys just appear randomly, like in the world around you, so you can get, you know, emeralds for carrots. They just have kind of random trades. Uh, okay, let's see here. Let's start exploring these houses. See if there's anything interesting in them. What's in here? <gasps> yes! Okay, okay. So, got some gold. Got more ability tomes. Wow, we're gonna have lots of these. We got a black lotus from Botania. I, I'm not that familiar with Botania. I'm not exactly sure what this does. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Uh, Dynamite 6. Same power as Charged Creeper, same strength as Ender Crystal. My god, don't go through on that. And then this. Inventory crafting table. So what you do, when we find this, you eat it. And then when you open up your inventory, there's a little there's be a little button here. I can craft in my inventory now, like a full 
crafting thing. So that's pretty damn cool, if I do say so myself. Take this. I really should make tools. Yeah, you know, that would be kind of the smart thing to do, now I think about it. Actually, yeah, let's do that before before I get too involved in this. Okay, so what kind of... Uh, let me type in pickaxe. Oh, there's a whole bunch of different kinds. Okay, I mean, there's the standard wood ones. But can I make... Uh, flint ones? Yes, I can. Okay. So, if we can find... Is that... Is that one actually better? Oh, uh, where was that? Um... Yes, it is better. Okay. Let's get... Oh, that's diamonds. Diamonds. I won't get those yet, though. Mainly because I don't have the tools yet. Okay, so... Gravel in there. Um, where am I gonna find gravel around here? What the heck? What's that? I probably don't want to fight it. <laughs> Whatever it is. There we go, gravel. Alright, so there is vein miner in here. So let me just use that. So oh, that's that was a lot of gravel. That was more than I intended. Well, now I have quite a bit. Okay. Now, if I can just get up here. We just need some sticks. What the? Ah, what? What the heck is going on? What's happening? What? What? What is? What? <laughs> I, I did not see anything. Okay, then. <laughs> Okay, so I think what happened was that, uh, let me, let me get out this door here, there we go. Uh, I think what happened was, uh, because, uh, I had Optifine installed, it might have been a little bit glitchy with the whole, uh, oh, that pig, that pig has glories on it. Okay, yes, Optifine, uh, might have been glitchy, um, with the, uh, with the rendering of the brain slimes. So I just I just turned it off. I've some people love that mod. I have the hardest time getting it to work properly. I swear every time I try it just it just something something goes wrong. So I'm not sure why I even try anymore. <laughs> okay. Um Yeah, let me get over here, get my stuff. Hopefully with less brain slimes. This time. Oh, that's. Looks like that's a little glitchy too. Okay. Got my stuff. That's that's the key. Um, where'd that come from? That's supposed to be there. Uh, okay, throw that back in there. Uh, right, so I had flint. And let me let me delete this waypoint here. There we go. Uh, and I was going to get... W oh, see? Yeah, see? I did not see that before. Yeah, no, no. Bad slime. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't see it on my head, and I guess I couldn't hit it either. I'm not sure how, why that didn't work. I, I was I was flailing, but yeah. So anyways, uh, it's dead, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let me go knock down one of these trees. So I can I can get some wood. Uh, let me use vein miner here. Punch tree, get wood. Do you guys? Oh, yeah, there he is. Look at these little guys. Get 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 away, sheep. You're you're not cute. Look how cute these guys are. You're just adorable, aren't you? <laughs> I love them. And there we go. Oops. Oh, I got some seeds too, and then I dropped, and oh, just not having a good time. All right. Uh, it is going to be sunset, so let me use this bed to sleep real quick. 
Apparently I'm glowing too. That's interesting. Let's see. Yep. I am totally glowing. <laughs> well, I guess it does what it says in the tin. <laughs> uh, let me pick that back up. Gather up all this wood. Uh, oh, uh, sapling there. Yeah, I was quite sure why not replant it. And yeah, that's it. Okay, so now we can use our little crafting table in here. So we're gonna make a few sticks. We're gonna go like that and like that. And we have a pickaxe. Excellent. Now I think I can, yeah, I can make uh, flint out of gravel. So let's make some more. And we're not gonna have enough room for a shovel, unfortunately. And my bobble's still there, right? Yeah, there's my bobble. Okay, perfect. Yeah, these guys are so adorable. Oh yeah, see, there's another uh, another one of those traveling merchants. They just, yeah, they just appear from time to time. Uh, I think if you give them a block of emerald, they will they'll stick around. They won't despawn. So you can kind of like keep it as your your personal vendor, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna get the. I hit that all the way from here. What? Or did it just jump and then die? I might have just jumped and died. <laughs> All right. So let's head back towards town. I think that would be a good place for us to kind of start. Is there another? There's another slime. Kill a slime. Haha. -ha. Kill all the slimes. Ooh, see that slime there? That has sparklies around it. Sparklies means that it will drop an ability totem. Uh, and then depending on the color of the sparklies, tells you what kind of totem you're gonna get. Uh, to drop, oh there it is. Okay, uh, I don't need this right now. So I got, ooh, step assist. I do love myself some step assist. I, I have three experience and I need 250. That is n not nearly enough. Uh, okay then. Let's, uh, let's head on back to town and I think I will, oh, actually, is, can I steal the stuff from here? Do I have enough inventory space for it? What's in here? Uh, almost. Um, anything I don't need? Err. Kinda need all the stuff. You know what? That's craftable, so I don't need that. I will take this instead. Break that up. There we go. There we go. Alright, let's head back towards the village.